Hello and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. We'll be looking at Canadian data and of course the outlook for the loonie. The Fed raised rates by 75 basis points last month and there are high expectations that the Bank of Canada will follow suit. But can the data leading up to next week's Bank of Canada meeting alter those expectations? I'm Christina Marujos. Joining me today is Christina Parthenido, investment analyst. Christina, employment numbers for June out of Canada are expected on Friday. What are we likely to see in the numbers? Uh, hi, Christina. It's nice to see you here. Uh, well, June's employment report is not expected to be a great one after a May's rebound, which was twice uh, April's uh, low at uh, 39.8 thousand. Uh, forecast point now to a slowdown back to uh, 23.5 thousand. Um, that's a minor increase, and uh, the unemployment rate is expected uh, to stay steady at 5.1%, uh, and the participation rate is also uh, forecast to remain flat at 63.5%. Uh, so overall, the numbers may not be exciting, and uh, that's reasonable because uh, the Canadian labor market is uh, pretty tight. The Central Bank's Business Outlook survey has uh, recently showed that more than 70% of businesses are still struggling to find uh, workers, and uh, some are even limiting their uh, services because they can't find uh, enough staff to meet the excess demand. So although June's employment growth may come softer, that doesn't mean that the economy is performing badly, but uh, limited labor supply is probably the reason behind that limited employment growth. Uh, now, how the central bank will react to those uh, to such an outcome, uh, to such an employment outcome? Uh, well, I don't think that uh, the data will affect its decision to extend its rate hike cycle uh, this month on July 13th, uh, even if recessions have been uh, badly waving on markets uh, this week, questioning whether the global economy, the global economy will uh, have a soft landing after such an aggressive monetary stance from several central banks. Uh, but looking at Canada, uh, the Business Outlook survey has also re revealed uh, higher inflation expectations for next year and more importantly, uh, higher wage growth expectations. Uh, similar results were also found in the uh, Consumer Expectations Survey. So uh, given the rising inflation, and uh, wage expectations, the central bank will probably deliver additional rate hikes as it has already signaled, and it could and it could even go uh, and it could even move more aggressively by raising borrowing costs by 75 basis points, as you have already mentioned, and follow uh, the Fed's uh, footsteps because inflation is currently uh, the top priority for every central bank, and so far. Uh, the economy has been resilient, uh, higher oil prices are expected to keep supporting public finances and may keep doing so uh, since uh, the war in the Ukraine and the pandemic constraints is not expected to end, at least uh, in the foreseeable future. Also, the savings uh, rate in Canada is uh, still the highest since uh, 1996, uh, despite the, um, uh, the sharp decline from, uh, from, from, pre from uh, the peaks in the previous year. Uh, so, uh, overall, uh, perhaps the Canadian economy may be able to, uh, to manage any economic downturn at a better way than other uh, Western economies. Uh, so, uh, trade data will also be worthy to keep a close eye for that reason on Thursday because investors are expecting trade surplus to grow further to 2.5 billion Canadian dollars. So, that might be another encouraging sign for the commodity-dependent Canadian economy. Now let's also look at the loonie, Christina, because the Canadian dollar has been one of the best performing currencies of the year so far, struggling only against the U.S. dollar. Can the data this week offer some more room for gains? Uh, well, as we said before, the data may not affect the Bank of Canada's decision to raise interest rates this week. So uh, the loonie may not be a big, uh, uh, so the, the, employment data, the employment data may not be a big market mover for the loonie. Uh, nevertheless, if uh, employment growth comes uh, much higher than analysts expect, uh, suggesting that the economy is performing much better than analysts believe, and any rate hikes could be uh, uh, absorbed by the economy without causing a big damage, then uh, the loonie may recoup some of its losses. Uh, on the other hand, if the data miss forecasts uh, by large and the unemployment growth uh, rebounds significantly, uh, then the loonie could face some uh, could face more selling, uh, but that may depend on market sentiment and whether recession fears will uh, remain high uh, this Friday. Uh, we shouldn't forget that the U.S. non-farm payrolls will be also uh, out at the same day and time, so uh, a significant upside surprise in U.S. jobs data, a potential upside surprise 
on those data could uh, also pressure the loony. Christina, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for watching this Forex preview on Canadian data coming up this week here at XM.com. Thank you.